So I'm vlogging from this spot again. Seems to be working quite well. My head stays in the viewfinder, and uh, yeah, I'm right at my computer. This is, I'll, I'll show you what's. It's just I'm just on top of my computer here. Have I ever recommended Avatar to you guys? It's you know the TV show, not the movie. Avatar: The Last Airbender. Um, it's really, really, really good. Uh, it's animated. It's American, but it's animated like an anime. It's really well done. Um, yeah, if you want to check that out, you should. I'll I'll make that my recommendation for today. Um, so uh, yeah, haircut. That's something that's happened. I've changed my hair since for the first time since grade six. Not really. I, I've never really. The, the reason I've never changed my hair isn't because I'm stuck on that hair. It's just that I don't really care about hair. That rhymed. Yeah. Uh, never really been something. It's like, you know, I, my 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 family was like going crazy. Oh, you changed your hair, and I was like, I okay. Uh, the only reason I changed it was I'm in this game called Assassin. Um, it's this thing that happens in my city. I'm sure it's all over the place. Uh, there's this one person who organizes it. It's pretty much uh, someone takes your picture. Uh, the, the person who organizes it, they take your picture, and then everyone whose picture was taken um, finds that person on, like, for us it was last Sunday, um, and then I got a picture of someone. And then I carry a water gun around with me, and I have to find that person, and I shoot them. Then they are out of the game, they have been assassinated, and then I get their picture, and I have to find their target until it gets all narrowed down, until there's two people left with each other's picture, and they hunt each other down, and last man standing wins. It's pretty cool. Anyways, my picture, I've got long hair that's like covering my eyes, so I got a haircut, so it's easier for me to play that. There was a story. Uh, the rest of that uh, improv workshop went really well. That was a lot of fun. I learned a whole heck of a lot. Um, Mark, thank you for that uh, Roosevelt quote. Um, that's That just made me love Roosevelt more and more, because he, uh, he was my favorite. He's my favorite American president, um, because he was awesome. He, he had quotes like that, where it was just like he was a really great person who knew where his, you know, he, 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 he was sure of himself, and, you know, someone insulting him wasn't going to take him down. Um, he was pretty much the most bad, one of the most badass people who have ever lived. Um, there's a lot of stories of just him being badass. One time, he was walking from his car to the White House, and there was all these people in a crowd, and one person threw a badger at him. Like, an actual fully grown badger. Like, one of the most vicious animals on the planet. They threw a badger at him from the crowd. It landed at his feet, and instead of, like, signaling his Secret Service guys to come and get it, he just picked it up, and he kept it as a pet until the day it died. It was just his pet from then on. What? Uh, one time he went to go do a speech, and there was this uh, radicalist who he was kind of half crazy, and he thought a former president had come to him in a vision to tell him to shoot Roosevelt. Anyways, um, uh, he shoots... Roosevelt. Roosevelt's going up uh, to do a speech. He's walking up in front of this crowd to do a speech, and the guy gets up, shoots Roosevelt, hits Roosevelt right in the chest, alright? And he stumbles back. Secret Service agents take that guy out. Then Roosevelt continues to deliver his, I think it's like a hundred page speech. He's got a bullet hole in his chest, and he, he, he just starts the speech by going, I hope you all know, I've been shot. And then he does the hundred page speech. He, went, he goes to the hospital later, finds out the bullet is lodged in his heart, and he decides against operating it because he, he doesn't want it to, like, pull out and he'll bleed out. So he just had a bullet in his heart for the rest of his life. Such a crazy awesome person. <laughs> um, Megan, you said a uh, lady saying gentleman uh, would be creepy. I don't think that's creepy. I think that's someone trying to be sexy in the 60s. You know, like, hello, gentlemen. Would you like a glass of wine? You know, it's it's like, you know, some, you know, someone in the 60s, yeah, right, trying to be, oh, hello, gentlemen, you know, I don't know, I think it's like, I, I think, uh, uh, yeah, 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 whereas with a guy, it's like, oh, it is, with a girl, it'd be like, gentlemen, you know, it's just the, I think it's just the lighter voice, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, Megan, nice feather, Elsie, didn't see you this week, um, hopefully next week, uh, hopefully on Tuesday, uh, because uh, Laura won't be there on Monday, but she was there today, so if you're watching this and you didn't see that yet, go and check that out. She also posted today. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm done. I think that's probably been about four minutes anyway. All right, I'll see, I'll see you on Tuesday, and do oh, you love my shirt? Yeah, you do. I bet you couldn't even see it in that viewfinder. It's Spock making a dog on the wall by doing this with a light, and there's the wall light. Anything, ways. All right. Yeah, I didn't.